You know, me and Michelle were both raised up hunting, so it was very important for us to raise our boys in the same way. Well, our kids took to it like a duck to water. They absolutely love the outdoors. They love being out there. They love hunting, fishing. As long as it's outdoors, they're having a good time. But this hunt is special for a lot of reasons. One, it's special because I told them where to go. Of course, I like to think I'm a pretty good guide, so I told them where I thought they should go. Their hunt turned out way better than I could have ever imagined, and it had more twists and turns than a serious, mysterious novel. It was pretty amazing, and my wife got to share this with the boys, and I got to share it as well when I returned from my hunt where I didn't see a thing. What are you hunting? We're hunting everything. We're going out to a water hole back here, gonna hunt everything, me and my brother. And Jeb, you've got a elk tag, bear tag, deer tag, and turkey tag. And Seth, you have? I have elk, bear, and turkey. Colorado mix bag. Waiting on Jeb. Again. Of course. Right off the bat, after the boys get in the blind, and I told them there's really good odds you can get a mule deer or a bear here. They both had multiple tags, but basically Jeb, our oldest boy, was the one hunting. Seth was going to kind of run the camera for him, and Mom was kind of going to oversee the whole operation. Well, when this buck shows up, Jeb gets excited. He's getting ready to take the shot. It's a big mule deer, and all of a sudden you can see him look up, and they can't figure out what's going on. Before Jeb can get his bow drawn back to take the shot, a bunch of elk come running in and scare off the mule deer. Unbelievable. All these cows run up to the water, and as he's getting ready to shoot a cow, all of a sudden, he hears a bull rip a bugle. Now, obviously, I haven't trained him correctly because I would have shot the very first cow to hit the water. However, Jeb, our oldest, has a lot more patience than me. He waits for this giant bull to walk up 12 yards away from him, and he shoots him with his Hoyt, with his brother videoing. The bull went out and they saw him lay down right in front of the blind. I've taught him if you shoot an animal to stay quiet, stay still, and not move until you're sure the animal's down. You wouldn't think it could get any better than that. While they're sitting there quiet, which is very unlike me, but I've taught them that if you shoot an animal and you're not 100% sure it's down, be quiet, stay there, don't move. Well, because they're not like me and didn't scream and shout, Right after the bull leaves, here come a bunch of cows. They come right up to the tank at 12 yards. Now, it's a rodeo now inside this blind because Jeb, the older boy, grabs a camera. Seth, the middle boy, says, give me, give, give me the bow. He takes his brother's Hoyt, draws back, and puts a perfect shot on a cow elk. She's down. She's down. She's down. We got to tell them. Nice. Give me a ball. Give me a ball. Bam. So now we've got two boys. They both shot elk. One seven by seven. One cow. You would not think one evening of hunting could get any better than that. It does. I cannot even believe this. 
and I don't know how this happened, but a mule deer buck comes walking right into the water hole. And wouldn't you know it, it's the same big buck that was there not an hour, hour and a half earlier. He walks up to the water tank, puts his nose into the water, and Jeb now has his bow back. Seth now has the camera, so they've swapped back. Jeb draws back and puts a perfect shot on this big mule deer. I think I hit him good. I know, it's unbelievable. They're not hunting in a zoo. This is actually a place that we guide clients on. You talk about two excited boys and their mother. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Dude, I, I can't, I'm still in shock. That's the most incredible night of hunting I've ever even heard of. <laughs> Dude, that is a huge deer. Look at the shot right through the heart. Mom, I told look at you the I shot he made. About it. Look at the shot he made. He said he felt good That's about it. That's a big deer. <laughs> big? That's a huge mule deer in, in velvet. velvet. Jeb, that is a beautiful, beautiful buck. I can't believe you got this buck and a seven by seven. You need to give up hunting and take up golf. We still golf. gotta get Seth's cow. Can you believe your brothers did this? <laughs> Jeb, that's huge. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 oh, good job video, dude. Get him out of it? Okay, so now, probably. Yeah, so now we got, right. we've got the deer, we've got the deer down. There's still two now elk to get. Now there's two elk to get. We're gonna go check on your cow now. Holy cow. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, pardon the pun. Holy cow. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot going on at the Eichler Ranch, right. huh? All right, let's get your tag. Let's right, get let's this get... thing all squared away. Okay. That is a beautiful buck, Jeb. Holy smokes, man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, check this out. The Ameristep blind. It's right there. Look at how good. Look at how good that Ameristep blends in right there. Oh, he's just walking to it because he saw this one go down. So he said, oh, we could just walk to mine. <laughs> Gotta love a little brotherly competition. Trent, what do you think of that? That's a lot of good meat coming out. <laughs> I can hardly talk, it's so big. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Look at that, and a great shot too. All right, next. We get to go look for the big bull. Oh my gosh! Oh. You have got to be kidding me! Oh. Hold, hold this light! <laughs> hold that light! Oh my gosh, Jeb! <laughs> you have got to be kidding me! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, Two, three, four. I don't even five, believe that. Six, seven. Mom, look at the size <laughs> of that bull. Oh, oh my God. gosh. Bart comes out too. Look at the size of this thing. You got a three, th 340 bull I think we're looking at here. No, he may be 350. This is a 340 class bull. How much is Pope and Young? Uh, what, 265? Yeah, I think so. Holy smokes. <laughs> Bigger than anyone I've ever killed. <laughs> oh my god! Mommy. What do you think, Trent? It is awesome. I wish I was Jim now. Look at the size of the seventh on this side right here. That's you, ridiculous. You know what is so awesome is that we're we're doing this as a family. We get to celebrate all together. So to me, that is just this is a memory that we'll never forget. And what an amazing night. You guys did awesome, huh? Yeah.